Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Let's get after it. These five World Economic Forum predictions for humanity are genuinely scary. The last one is really disturbing. Number one, you'll own nothing and be happy. You probably heard this one before. The possible theory behind it is that everything will be owned by a couple of powerful individuals that are making sure you're barely making ends meet to keep you in a never-ending loophole. Number two, you'll eat much less meat. Eat the bugs, they say. They're better for you anyway. No, but seriously, with all the changes that are being made, it is very likely that the average person soon won't be able to afford meat at all. Number three, a billion people will be displaced by climate change. Now this one scares me. These predictions were originally meant for 2023, we all know that it's being tried to depopulate the world. The questions remain now whether it will happen by natural or man-made causes. Number four, polluters will have to pay to emit carbon dioxide. What a nice way to earn more tax money. This one can probably be linked to number one, as the average person undoubtedly will have enough money to own a car, let alone be able to afford enough carbon credits. But that's not all, there are many more. Share this video if you want to see part two. And if the World Economic Forum is predicting these things, that means they have plans in place to enact these things. He said, well, my dad knew about some of this way back in the 60s. No one would do anything about it. So he took his revolver and ate his gun and blew his head off. Now, this is a three-star general telling me this story. In the first 10 minutes we're together, but I understand where your dad was coming from. Because it's sort of this... Um... There are a lot of people who've been on my team who, who were military, who killed themselves. Others who've been assassinated. So the other thing keeps me up is, you know, let's... Survivor guilt. Because humanism isn't enough, because we're dealing with non-human life forms. Now we have to transcend even humanism into this idea that there has to be something more universal within us that's also within these extraterrestrial civilizations that bind us together. I'll call remote viewing, the ability to use consciousness to spy on, an, on a remote place. These programs began to be studied scientifically and then routinized, made routine in the intelligence community back in the 40s, 50s, 60s. You could say my spiritual development was paid for by the oh. CIA. These were considered abilities that were available to the experienced meditator. It's just part of quieting your mind. They can directly experience dimensions of reality that at the present time are out beyond our direct immediate sensorial system. And I've had direct contact with these civilizations, so you can't deceive me about who they are and why they're here. To, to actually witness something firsthand as opposed to seeing it in television or, or, or see photographs, it's, it's mind-blowing. For me, it was so profound, I, was, I, I couldn't sleep that night. I was just amazed, but the amazement was that, not that I saw it, and actually I needed that because I have that, that, that mindset, but the feeling you got. I got this incredible feeling, you, you, know, you have these two ships and then I, I can't explain it. My, it's just an emotional state, I was so taken by it. You know, that's something I never really considered is the weight that, the weight you must carry around on your shoulders trying to wake people up from something that they think isn't even true or really going on. Man, that was kind of hard to watch. The core of the earth is getting ready for a reversal. Every so many tens of thousands of years, this happens. It's normal. It even creates a reversal of earth's magnetic field. So right now, if you go out to any area where there's volcanic activity and you can get your hand on some volcanic rocks, some really old volcanic rocks, and you take those volcanic rocks and you check the uh, position or the, 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 the um, orientation of the atoms, if they're more than 27,000 years old, you will find out that the atoms are oriented opposite. In other words, north is south and south is north, meaning that the Earth's magnetic field is recorded in volcanic rocks, okay? And we know this, this is basic archaeology 101. This is what they teach you. This is basic stuff. This isn't anything crazy what i'm telling you is really easy stuff but what's interesting about this is it means that the earth's magnetic field it flips 
every so many tens of thousands of years. On average, around every 26, 27,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field does a flip. Now, what's happening here in this current era, if you begin to research the Earth's magnetic field, you discover that Earth's magnetic field is actually warping and wrinkling in a way that's even letting a lot of radiation and cosmic rays hit the, the planet because it's bending in a way. And the magnetic north has begun to move. And where is it now? Magnetic north has now moved over Russia. It's actually just now beginning to pass Russia. So it's been ticking, 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 ticking away as our magnetic field is preparing itself for a complete flip south to north and north to south. All right. And so this is interesting because this is what Thoth is talking about here in the Emerald Tablets. He's talking about something that we're experiencing right now today in modern science. Well, this makes me feel a lot better hearing him describe it in such a way that it's happening slowly over a period of time. Because my understanding up until now was that when we had a pole shift, it was just going to be a whoop, whoop, and it, our atmosphere was going to be blown off and everybody was going to float off into space. So um glad it's happening slowly hey if you're enjoying this video i make a new one just like it every single day it would be awesome if you'd hit that subscribe button and come back tomorrow to join me do you think this was human beings using some sort of advanced technology to terrorize this village in the efforts of human trafficking organ trafficking or i suspect that we're dealing with very nefarious human beings in possession of exceedingly advanced technology talia's story the 15 year old girl who's nearly abducted is one of the most graphic accounts her encounter began when this fruit fell out of the tree she bends over to pick it up and she felt a gentle wind and she noticed the leaves were rustling and so when she looked behind to see what was causing this breeze she saw one of these assailants flying up to her on one of these discs landed right next to her and grabbed her from behind put his hand over her mouth I've seen a, another interview with that man uh, that's telling the story where he was describing walking up onto a craft while he was in the military a craft that was being manned by human beings and he saw them loading children onto it that gives you a little backstory on him i do not remember his name but this wouldn't surprise me one bit if we've got we already know that that human trafficking is a, a massive operation that takes place all over the world we know from that list that just dropped there's a lot of high profile people involved in it it would only make sense that these higher-ups would get their hands onto this advanced alien technology and use it for nefarious purposes. This is what happens when Russia takes all of your energy. This is the only way that you can warm up in France. Fire, the cause of bad economic policy and bad foreign policy where you get fucked. If you look into uh, what's happening with the energy crisis, Germany, France, all these countries, You'll realize this whole green movement, this whole climate change movement is another tool of matrix control to make sure people end up like brokies with no ecosystem to uh, take care of themselves. No infrastructure, no sustainability. So here we are in Paris, the only way to keep ourselves warm. We don't want to get fined, right? If our temperatures are too high. So it's the name of the game, wood. And whether it's popular opinion or not, it's not Russia's fault. It's France's fault. They should have never made that deal. Hopefully not coming to a country near you. <laughs> the thing almost outran their boat. Stay out of the water. <laughs> Definitely stay out of that water. Jellyfish UAP is legit. Let me explain. Military information said this object was jamming the radar. The thermal changing was super strange, and I came across someone who said they worked with some of these platforms and never saw anything like it. We also have three other footage accounts of these jellyfish, and I have these at the end of the video. Bird poop is the dumbest comment I've seen all this from the skeptics today. First off, a smear would be in focus. You would have to be zoomed out, and these weapon arrays can bullseye a target from 20 miles away. So if they're indeed tracking a UAP, smear would be blurred to barely noticeable, depends on the sensor size. And this is a little video just showcasing that very thing. And this is with an iPhone camera, let alone a, you know, lens that could potentially do 30,000 plus zoom or whatever the military has. The other thing is the object does move. And this wouldn't be the case if it was a smear. Plus we have different angles. 
It also, the thermal changes with the object, so that couldn't happen with the smear. You would have to heat up the lens. That would destroy the equipment. Here's some different pieces of footage um, from all over, from different years, including one that's over 14 years old, and showcasing these, these jellyfish-like entities. I think the coolest part about that is, for one, seeing it so close to the ground that it's almost touching it, the shadow that it's casting. The thing's not worried about being uh, injured or downed at all if it's getting that close to the ground. To see how small it was in the clip where the dogs are barking at it, it would almost have to be either some sort of an alien drone, uh, like a scouting drone that's invincible because they're not worried about it going down, or it's manned and whoever is in it is just uh, super curious. Okay, everyone, take a look at this right here. This is a legitimate story, a news story, and this is legislation being proposed in the New Hampshire House of Representatives. And I want to read the title of the legislation. This would prohibit the intentional release of polluting emissions, including cloud seeding, weather modification, excessive electromagnetic radio frequency, and microwave radiation, and making penalties for violations of such prohibition. So, I know a lot of people talk about stuff like this at times, a lot of it going around on social media, but in New Hampshire now, someone, a group of lawmakers, have put together legislation making it illegal in that state to attempt to change the weather through scientific means like these listed right here. So this is real. This is not something that's out there. This is a news story. This is happening. What do you think? You need to follow me. That's why I left the mainstream media in order to give you the real news that you're not seeing on your nightly news. Follow me right over there. Hit the plus, bu plus button. And there you have it. It is no longer up for debate on whether or not they are doing weather modification. They're actually putting it in the law now that they don't want weather modification in their state. Pretty fascinating. Interesting times we're living in. That Jeffrey Epstein was actually Mossad. Yeah, Israeli I've intelligence. Seen I've seen that too. Yeah, they were talking about how Jeffrey Epstein uh, was meeting with like a former Israeli prime minister. If you have dirt on everybody, why do you have dirt on everybody? It's just what exactly is going on here? The craziest thing that they murdered that guy in jail. Just like sweep, sweep. That's yeah. all done. And by let's, the way, let's concentrate on Ukraine now. Yeah, nobody actually believes he killed himself. I haven't met anybody left wing, left wing, right wing, center, apolitical. Everybody's like, eh, that's, that's kind of sketchy. One of the most eerie ones was when Bill Gates was being questioned about it. Uh, you know, yeah, he's he dead now. He yeah, said he's, he's dead, dead now, now. So, uh, so you have to be careful. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Jesus Christ, he's dead now. So I guess you have to be careful. What? Um and. Ghislaine Maxwell came out recently and said, I don't think he killed himself. He didn't. Yeah. Michael Baden, that famous autopsy doctor, the, the, the guy who was from that, the show Autopsy, who is, he said that out of thousands of cases of people hanging themselves, that he's personally investigated. He has never seen anybody with those injuries. That's right. And that those yeah. injuries were of a person who was strangled. Yes. And that the broken bones in his neck were indicate of a ligature strangulation. The area where he was strangled was below low on the neck, which is not where you get when someone's hanging by their own weight, which is higher on the neck because your body weight right. is yeah. dragging it down. He's like, that was someone who got strangled. That's the first time I've heard this conspiracy theory that uh, Epstein was an Israeli official. Wouldn't surprise me none, but not going to believe it until I see some more proof of it, which I think if proof exists, it's going to come out. But what, what I wanted to say is, why do they lie? Because if everybody knew without a doubt that there was a creator and that we are in a created place, the governments could not control us.
They've always had trouble controlling people that have a strong connection to the, to the creator, to God. And that's what flat earth does to you. When I found out the earth was flat, my mind went, holy crap. And I had to reassess everything in my life. I'm going to give a little pushback on this because his theory, though it sounds reasonable, the pandemic showed us when they shut down churches, all the Christians comply. Just because you're religious doesn't mean that you're not easily controlled by the government. There are sheep in every group that are going to follow the herd. Apparently, you can see UFOs with 3D glasses. You take the blue and the red, put them together and use as a filter for your phone. Check this video out. You know those... 3D glasses that are red on one side and blue on the other and you get them in movie theaters. He cut them up so that the lenses were separate and he stapled them together and he taped it on top of his lens for his iPhone. And what that did, I'm not sure he understood how that was happening, what was going on, but he somehow knew to do that. I don't know how he knew to do that without knowing what he was doing, but he taped them on top of the lens. The red lets in infrared. The red and the blue together to almost all visible light. And so the light that can get through is going to be the infrared stuff. There's not much ultraviolet light in the atmosphere, so it's really mostly infrared. And so what happens is the phone rank, you know, gears up its uh, automatic gain control to try to get any light as what's, what's what at all. But there is no visible light that's coming in because of the red and the blue together. So what he ends up getting is mostly the ultraviolet, uh, mostly the infrared. Mm -hmm. And he started taking videos um, with his iPhone, with this makeshift thing of the Washington DC area. And he started to get a whole bunch of UFOs, uh, interesting configurations, different shapes and everything. And so the Washington DC area was like filled with them. And these were things on demand, any 10 minute period that he would do it. He, came to us with Excel spreadsheets, which had aeronautical data, all types of everything, the analysis of it, how you analyze distance, speed, size, everything. And then he came to us with recommendations for things he didn't even have. He said, what you need is a GH6 camera. He didn't even have one, but he knew we, need, we needed a GH6. And he knew that we needed to send it to a specific company called LifePixel, lifepixel.com to have it converted. Now there are other places that do conversion. What they do is they take the sensor and the sensor of all cameras has a glass filter on top of it that blocks out infrared and ultraviolet because you don't want that in your images. However, that glass filter on top of the sensor has to be removed. Once you take the filter off of the sensor, you have to put another filter on top of the lens he knew all about that. He didn't have any of that, but he knew all about that. That's crazy. And uh, to tune into the bandwidth that you want. There's so many things that we have no idea about. So what do you think, guys? Should I get the camera and do an experiment and try this? Let me all right, we've all got some homework to do. Get you a pair of 3D glasses and go outside and start filming the sky. Send me an email at bandleyonline at gmail.com and let me know what you found. This is insane. <laughs> so the story is... There's a secret tunnel built under a New York synagogue. The police show up. Cement trucks come to fill in the tunnel. Soiled mattresses are pulled from this crevice. Young men then rip the walls down of this wood paneling and break through the wall to try and occupy the space to stop the, the uh, construction crews from cementing it in. When the police show up, young Jewish men fight the police and a dozen are arrested. And now everyone is saying, what the f is going on with secret Jewish tunnels in New York City? A wild riot has just broken out today at a New York synagogue after secret underground tunnels were found in the building. Now, these illegal tunnels were actually discovered last month when neighbors reported suspicious noises coming from underneath their homes. Following the discovery, the synagogue leadership called in structural engineers to assess the damage these tunnels may have had. And then today, when cement mixers and construction crew arrived to fill them up, a group of rebellious Orthodox men tried to stop it. Many of them started ripping away the wooden walls, hiding the entrances to 
into these secret tunnels and then running into them to try and prevent them from being filled. A riot broke out, police were then called, and they ended up arresting 12 of the men. Now, it's not clear what their purpose was, but they were reportedly being dug for an entire month. They had a freaking soiled old mattress for some reason. And eerie footage posted on Crown Heights Instagram showed that through an eerie, dark, dirt-walled space, the tunnel reached all the way to the abandoned woman's mikvah, which is nearby. All right, that's a pretty crazy story. Uh, first, we have the, the Miami Mall incident, and now this, and we're only a week into 2024. But uh, I found some video footage that I think is legit showing the inside of these tunnels. There's a paranormal element to it that makes me feel like it could be faked. I, I'm going to play it, and I'll, you guys make up your own mind. I mean, the news is not going to show you this video. It's just way too scary for the public. What's really down there is not human. It's not for the public to understand it. I mean, I hope at least social media lets us show this because it's the truth. So this is footage of what we saw the first time we went in. It was just a couple of us and we went to explore it. Now, what the news is showing you is one entrance under the Jewish synagogue in New York. But the real entrance, the other entrance is on the south side. The south side entrance is where the real stuff is. To the truth of how far back this tunnel dates. Yeah. Yeah, they built them for World War Two, right? Yeah, yeah. A, lot, a lot of the area shelters were, were built from existing tunnels. Uh -huh. So um, the Victorians were notorious for just digging through and making new tunnels. Dude, tunnels are awesome. People need to build more tunnels. So people like us can explore them. <laughs> what the f was that? Oh, shit. Hello? Is there anything there? That came from the other side. Where did that come from? It came from the other side. Like it hit the metal the metal thing on the door. A lot, man. People like probably get drunk here, they light things on fire, they break things. There's still the left side of the tunnel that we haven't explored just yet. Well, I'm gonna be careful with that. Whoa! What the f is that? I mean, that's not a Yeah, this is where it gets interesting. There's nobody here, dude. No, what the hell? It looks like someone's been chipping away. It looks worse because of the chip, good idea. Yeah. It's like the note, it's like they're like the note, but they're not good. Stop moving, stop moving. Yeah. Yo, look what it says! Have you seen it? It says, have you seen it? What the f***? And that noise came from that area. Bro, there might be a psychopath down here, you know? Bro, I know they painted on the walls, this stuff. We've explored the hell out of this tunnel. It, it does go to a dead end and it comes out to a field. But... We haven't explored the right side of it. The, like, there's more tunnels that we haven't seen yet. Like, there's a lot more to check out. <gasps> Did you see that? Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah, we're literally not alone here. Did you saw that? Yeah. I don't know. I think we should get out of here. I don't wish. Like, this is getting crazy. Bro, you mentioned a psychopath? I don't know. Did you see the drawings on the walls? Yeah, but yeah. like... Remember? There's a person or something in here walking around without a flashlight? That's a psychopath right there. I just heard someone. There's someone there. After you, bro. Hello? Dude, that was traumatized. I don't want to go back in there. That's pretty cool. I think I just want to go out that, that exit, man. Like, I, I'm down for digging. Did you bring a shovel? I mean, the exit! I don't know. I don't know. This way. This way? Okay, try. Guys, 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 wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look what it says on the wall here. Murder backwards. Murder hole. Red rum. This is when things get even more chilling. Just don't want to run into the other this. I think we should just head down and see. Hello? What the f? Come on, let's go. My head was going on. 
Yo, we do it. We do it. We do it. Follow to see more videos that will make you say what the fuck. So what did you guys think? You think that was legit or what? The uh, thing with the tentacles <laughs> uh, running around down there, I think is something that's uh, certainly been added. I don't think that they would be trying to save those tunnels if there was some sort of a creature down there and that was that creepy. I think they'd be I think they'd be petitioning along with the elders to have those tunnels filled in. I don't know. It's an interesting story. I'm, I'm excited to see where this goes and see what comes of it because uh there's a lot of stuff here that doesn't really add up seems like something suspicious is going on they're printing money because they're going to end the dollar they're going to collapse the dollar through hyperinflation and transition to a digital currency they're printing the money they're then sending the money over there little Zelensky gets to keep part of it and he gets to buy some yachts and some big houses and all this shit the rest of it comes back to political packs or individual people that are in the government those people are taking the money buying assets that will bridge from this monetary system to the next then you sell the new asset on the new currency and you're rich in the new currency and it makes so much sense that that's what's going on and people just refuse to see it. Everybody needs to go invest in this gold back dollar thing. So here's something weird you can get on the dark web now. The genetic profiles of over 6 million people. This has been one of my most requested videos because today we're looking at the 23andMe data leaks. I've seen a lot of people talking about this on the news, but it gets a lot weirder when you look at the actual leaks. So if you didn't know, a couple months ago, a bunch of data was stolen from 23andMe. Basically, someone was able to get access to over 14,000 accounts using credential stuff in. Essentially, just trying username and password combinations from other data leaks. From what I can tell, it sounds like they were able to use those accounts to get access to the genetic profiles of other users because 23andMe lets relatives see the genetic segments they have in common with other people. And as you can probably imagine, with 14,000 people, your family tree is pretty big. This onion site called Breach Forms is where the data was leaked to. I think they might have a clear nightmare, I'm not sure. But yeah, there's a couple weird things about the breach itself. It's funny how going on the dark web and actually finding the leaks compares to what's being talked about in the news. For example, in most of the articles, it says the data is being sold for like one to $10 per account, but I was able to find people just dumping the entire collection for free. Also, at least on the threads I was able to find, the data was organized very specifically. Interestingly, it seems like it was targeting users of very specific ethnicities. There's a lot of talk about the genetic info of the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, and the royal family. And yeah, some other stuff I can't really get into. I mean, but yeah, pretty creepy stuff. Just as a reminder, 23andMe recently sent out their new privacy policy to try to cover themselves. And you have about two more weeks to notify them you don't agree so that you can get a piece of that class action lawsuit. Also, you can always use the site Have I Been Pwned to see if you're included in any data leaks. Bye-bye. You know, I was wondering, you know, what kind of nefarious purposes would this be for? Like, what, what would they have needed all of this genetic information for? At first, I thought maybe it's the government's trying to get their hands on this information. Maybe China or something like that. But whenever he starts talking about the Rothschilds and stuff like that, it makes me think, you know, maybe it was one of us doing some digging. So check this out. With the $165 billion we gave to Ukraine. Mm -hmm. We could have built six border walls to stop illegal immigrants from pouring across our southern border. Mm -hmm. Could have fixed Flint's water system 215 times over. I like this one. Could have given every homeless vet $2 million. Holy. Could have given $50 million to every family impacted by the Maui wildfire. $700. We got $700 each. We got to get our priorities straight, buddy. According to HUD, they think it would take $20 billion to end homelessness in America. $20 billion. And what'd you say? We've sent a hundred and how much? 165 billion. So we could have ended homelessness eight times over in America. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, outrageous. Yeah. And they want to shut down the government and they try scaring people into thinking that's a bad thing. No, they'll never shut down the government. They'll never do it. Do you know why they won't shut down the government? Because people would then realize how little government how, we how actually how important gave. it is. Yeah. They'll never shut it down because then they'll realize 90% of things that are getting spent garbage. Absolute garbage. How you doing? How you doing? Spending, spending $15 million to find out whether badgers fuck better on cocaine. An actual thing, by the way.
And if that video doesn't make you furious, nothing will. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. I hope that you enjoyed the clips that we watched today. I will be back tomorrow with another upload. I hope you have a great safe day. I will see you tomorrow.